Hello and welcome back to Railway Empire. We are sat looking at a whole load of cattle. Our first load of cattle. Heading into Grand Lac, Victoria. And that's going to get us more meat around our network. Which is definitely needed, isn't it? We definitely need a lot of meat on our network. The only place that's doing it is Quebec, I believe. And that is via trade. But this will be us making making our stakes or whatever they are over there in the distance is ottawa toronto and london our new area we will be destroying the current network there and uh, starting from scratch we don't have that much money it's still winter so we'll we'll let our money build up and i guess we can play it now and we'll get this in not very quickly but the snow is receding so uh, we'll be able to get our trains up to full speed again. Noting that, similar to what we have over... Where are we? Alt-N. Similar to what we have over in Halifax and Moncton, these guys, especially London and possibly Toronto, don't get affected by the snow nearly as long as uh, our northern towns. I, I would really like to go for this early. We just need to unlock one more of these and uh, 200 is the cheapest for us. And we do have all these back here as well uh, in the 300 range, which we will get eventually. We will be placing uh, a few more universities as well. We're currently making 58 innovation points per month, which is lovely. So this is the current state. We will get a refund, won't we? Well, at least I hope we will, and that will mean we can set up some some better uh, stations before we make some extra lines. I do like this. They've got a little bypass line. <laughs> it's kind of nice, isn't it? Yeah, well played. But uh, before we can delete all of this, we'll need to hook up into our actual network. Otherwise, it won't allow us to replace these stations. So if we just took in, I guess, from there into the uh, rice chopping, that gives us a connection to all of our network. And we can then get Ottawa connected. We do have a nice little journey, perhaps, into Montreal there as well, which would be kind of lovely. I wouldn't like to take much more down the main line in its current form. Uh, we, we should now be producing meat, though possibly whoa how are we up to 74 meat wait a second where did that when did that happen have we just been storing all the meat here well we don't take any back do we no we take a lot there but we don't take any back that's interesting i would like to get that shifted back then maybe maybe since we've got to get furs down yeah let's take a look at our tasks we have to get 25 furs shifted which shouldn't take too long and we have to get that winter clothing going so let's concentrate on that and we can have sort of a bypass track heading around the north side of our our main line down there which means perhaps we should put in a second station over at Saguenay and maybe upgrade it money's still a little bit tight but uh, since we've got to increase our company value up to 15 million which we could just leave money in the bank as that counts towards that at the same time we've got to make some progress haven't we so terminal station oh yeah and they're cheaper we're gonna have a nice terminal in Saguenay there we go it's not overly busy at the actual station and this would be the bypass wouldn't it this one here where do we want some maintenance buildings which should be or maintenance yards these maintenance station <laughs> these are quite cheap now aren't they 180,000 where would they make sense possibly one here that way we can head down yeah to Ottawa where we've got to get our furs our furs are up here we would like to buy those as well could we get away with another one we could technically have one down here but that would be awkward to then bridge or tunnel past our main line we could of course 
widen the main line, couldn't we? And, and truly separate our freight and passenger lines a bit better. I'd like to go in the top, possibly. Maybe we can have a direct line down. Well, thinking about it, we have this up here, don't we? I don't know whether we need to actually take it over there. Uh, do they have wood? Yeah, they have wood up there. And they have closer vegetables up that end. So it's just a case, really, of not having dead ends here. So we'll fill it all in at the end of this station. Not because it's required, but because it looks tidier. And it's uh, as cheap as chips anyway. And then we'll use this one to branch off and continue round. Ooh, we've got to be careful about that. I didn't see that there. We can run it, can't we? And then see where that sits. Okay, where do we want this? This one can be a direct line. We've got this through line as well. So the through line should be technically this one, shouldn't it? Yeah, we should have all of these heading into there. Good point. Well, perhaps then, let's scrap that idea. Not all of it, though. We'll take it back to there. I forgot about our through line. Is that going to be required? Maybe. Maple syrup, fish, iron, oil. No, we don't have any of that round here, do we? No. So, we'll have a couple of maintenance stations next to each other that will act as a junction. That means we can bring one station in up to there. Then the other through line can come round. And that's nice and smooth, isn't it? And then at this end, we have the connection to the other maintenance station at the bottom. Like that. And this one, what do we want to do with that one? I don't really know what we need to do with this one. Well, we could change where this heads in, right? Yeah, we could have this as a double track heading around that way. And instead of heading into the main station, we go in the northern one with the, uh, from the stuff from Martin Farm. That might be nice. Yeah, I sort of like that. We've got a, a main line then that we can split so get rid of this we'll have to change his destination we'll have this continue round it might actually be some sort of bypass through and up thinking about it couldn't we go for a a maintenance yard here i know it's going to reset all of our trains but i'd like to get this part of the network tidy and, and done because we need to get these furs in. Uh, so far, they can maybe drift in at this junction here. And yeah, that would be kind of nice, wouldn't it? This one is now a through track. Or a, a direct line up to the furs there. We've got furs up here, but it's going to be really difficult to get those down. So we have the option now to head. Oh, yes, we have the option to head that up further north. I like it. Plans are afoot, guys. That's where that one's going. And this one is now actually going to head up into the other station, the terminus station. I believe it's going to be a little quieter up there. We do have through lines here, and we can double up on that bridge when we can afford such shenanigans. So this is going to be a line that goes nowhere at the moment, but will... Head into our main line. Oh, talking of this bridge. Thank you, guys. I'm not going to forget today. Look what I didn't do. We only have signals. There were a couple of you in the comments who noticed this. We don't have signals on the other side. Fortunately, it didn't affect our, uh, our task too much. As it just spaced out our trains a little bit down here. But yeah, we are missing a couple of signals down there. There we go. We're all done and we're all tidy. That's better, isn't it? Excellent. 
Uh, I think I saw we were missing one down here, perhaps, well, that we could squeeze in. Yeah, right on the junction there. And we had one that's broken <laughs> behind it. I might reset that train, you know. Yeah, just reset whoever that is. It was sort of stuck on the on the green position, which was a little bit bizarre. I'd like to redo the signals. Actually, apparently it's far enough away from that junction, so we could get extra signals at the junction. Brilliant. Right, so we've tidied up that, and you'll be pleased to know you don't have to worry about that being unsignaled. This feels like it should fit another signal just there and there which might as well be a supply tower actually there's about enough room that would be lovely wouldn't it save them running out okay back over to our our stuff that's going on this side it's kind of lovely what's happening here this will indeed well in fact we might run up that way at some point as well but this will indeed be something like that See, we have the opportunity with these two industries up here to come in to this maintenance station to filter off wherever we want if we don't want to bypass Saguenay up here. And this will be our new station for our train that's heading from Martin Farm, which we've now got to find. Hopefully, you're not back there. Where is our... That's the one. Let's change your orders. He might reset. Currently, he's going to go around the houses. So it might be a good idea to actually just delete him and put him in. Oh, well, no, I'll tell you what. We'll just change his, uh, his end point and then we're avoiding the town. Have you reset? Oh, are you? Right, I'll tell you what. Let's reset you. There we go. I mean, it doesn't cost us anything. And then we'll place that back in there. He's reset. He'll do uh, what he needs to do. Beautiful. I don't know what happened to the goods on there. Two research points to spend. We could go with the consolidation B. But I like the faster freight. Panoramic car will at least increase our income immediately. So, yes, let's go for that. Because our passenger trains were already making a small fortune. It does mean the next 100 points we get, we get our Achilles, and that will be our new passenger services. Right, so we've bypassed, we've bypassed. How much is this going to cost us? And are you taking any out? You are not. It's pricey. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. The reason I'd like to take it is because it takes a little while for them to upgrade themselves. And if we've got to push this delivery... I would like to upgrade it manually when we can afford it. Now, we are going to be heading down, I guess, into here. If there is another junction that's going to happen later on, up to the north there, we can rework it so that we have another maintenance station here that we pull into and drift round. So we've got lots of options and lots of places for uh, long-distance Oh, that's what I needed. Yeah, for our long distance trains to uh, stop and, and repair. Yeah, this is the guy, the mediator. I would like that in my back pocket, especially with what's going on now. We just need to remember that he is part of our team so we don't uh, waste him on cheap stuff. We need the uh, most expensive things we can find to make that worthwhile. We're almost there. This is going to be a real pain. Do we have a place for a maintenance yard down this end? It's a bit rough. Where do we want to sit there? I mean, I guess up a bit would be okay. But there is a place here, isn't there? We've got to run into Ottawa. I mean, technically, that could branch, couldn't it, to go to Ottawa and or dive off to Montreal, whether that would be worth it. And um, we can decide later, but we need to be far enough away from our main line for this to work. Are there any trains on this section? Yes, this is the thing, isn't it? If we don't do this now, we're forever going to be waiting for trains to not be on here. Although I, I can only see these two. Right, this might be the time to do it. You two, get moving, <laughs> please. 
Of course, they're freight trains. We've got a passenger train here. It would be perfect if he stopped, but he's he's motoring. I'd like to put the uh, the maintenance yard in here so that we can sort all this out. It's it's too busy. It's too busy. Let's let's just delete these. We'll reset the trains, the two freight trains. Yeah, we're gonna have to reset the passenger train as well. But the longer we leave that, the worse it's gonna get trying to find us a space to fit all of this in. So this is now gonna be uh, a maintenance yard in this section, and it does also mean it's gonna be quad tracked all the way down. It's kind of flat, kind of lovely. Try and get a place where we can sit you. We do have trains. No, we don't. He's gone. So we can redo it from there. And we'll get you connected all the way down. This is going to increase the bandwidth <laughs> of our track. If it, uh, if it was internet. But it allows more traffic to run through here. And that should be going in there. And it's, oh, it's beautiful. 0%. Always do love to see that. And now we're separated uh, with a maintenance yard as a junction at that point. So that is also rather nice, isn't it? And now we bring this in just before the station somewhere, if we can put it in nicely. It does give us the... Oh, that's too tight. That's too tight. Can't put that in. It does give us the option to run the other way as well. So that was too tight, was it? So we'll need to expand that curve a little bit. There we go, that should be better. Perfect. Let's get that signaled up. Signals are a bit wonky, but we do have junctions there, so I'm not overly bothered about that. We do have the option, as I said, to run this way into uh, Grand Lac Victoria, but we do have a second station we can put in there. Given that I forgot some signalling before, I'm going to make sure I haven't forgot any here. <laughs> I'm in both directions. That is tidy. This looks like a candidate for a maintenance yard as well. But I would like to get the, the build in for this. So I know how to go over the top of it. We don't need to branch into it. So this one is going to go straight over. That side is going to go up to the warehouse okay money's running out which i knew but uh oh not that same price but not the correct building we need the maintenance building yeah money's tight but time hasn't progressed the greatest i think we're okay at the moment let's get you in there this will allow a few options we could branch up that way and we could also branch up into this maintenance yard as well as let's see if this will work as well as go in the middle as the the sort of main line which is going to be pricey but i'll take it a massive viaduct over the top so that's going to go into there and then we drift up what that will do is give us technically a direct connection once we hook up the furs, but we're going to need a small fortune for it. That bridge there was not necessary, was it? We could raise it a little bit to keep the grade pleasant. I would prefer a bridge because you can see it. 2%, <laughs> 225k. Can we raise it there? No, you get your bridge back. There we go. That's nice, isn't it? I like that. Are we running with it? Are we, you on the right side? You are. So we need 227k for that. We can go and keep an eye on everything else. Hopefully our trains have now sorted themselves out. We have... We shouldn't have any passenger trains on there. Did I delete their... Their orders, perhaps? Their waypoints? Yeah, none of you are using the uh, passenger line now. So let's fix those while we wait for our money. So after Grand Lac Victoria, we need you to head down there, please. And then after Quebec, we need you to head down there. That keeps you off the freight lines. Perfect. And we can't copy them because they're all individual. What's happened to you? Where's your stuff? 
Ah, uh, that's not right, is it? There's a fun, fun break. Oh, what do we do with you, a promoter? Could we tip Halifax, maybe? I know it's a bit of a strange one, but uh, they're, they're waiting on beer as their next level over at Halifax. If they're on the brink, maybe. Oh, let's gamble. Let's go for it. Because getting meat over there is going to take forever. So if this guy can just push them, then they're going to get uh, beer, aren't they, from Moncton. And that will keep them above that level. Okay, they are rising. They are growing. They're brilliant. Brilliant. So what this is going to do is trigger demand from Moncton. And they're going to get another way to deliver beer. And there we go. Halifax has grown. Do we have a train on the outside? Should be. It's over here now, isn't it? No, it's not. Where, where is it? Where's our mixed service? There. You're on the way back at the moment. The promoter should last for a while, but he'll be able to start delivering beer. Um, we could duplicate him now as well. It might be a little bit overkill. We'll leave him. We'll leave him. He's going to get orders in. Hopefully he stays at uh, level two. Do you know, we could actually put a uh, one of these guys, one of these fast stokers on here. No, we can't. <laughs> no, we can't. I have some fixing still to do. I got distracted by the promoter. We need to uh, find the rest of our passenger trains. We've only moved one across and one was utterly broken. Uh, have you fixed yourself yet? Oh, you're a new one. Okay. Montreal. After... Oh, where did you click there? After Montreal, go on that... No, that can't be right. After Montreal, go on that line. And then after Grand Lac Victoria, go on that line. Get you updated. Right, and we have that one, which we could have copied. After Montreal, go on that line. After Grand Lac Victoria, go on that line. Hopefully I got you before you leave the maintenance yard. And then we've got this one, which is the ghosty one, who's a little bit broken. Uh, you could technically stay on the other line, but we'll have your, our passengers down here out of Grand Lac Victoria. So after Saguenay, you want to be on there. Then after Grand Lac Victoria, you want to be on there. That should be all of our passenger trains, right? Four. Yes, for now. Obviously, we're going to bring in trains, passenger trains from down this new area, which I thought we'd get in today. But there's a bit more to do, isn't there? We can afford our bridge now. Let's get you in. And how much is a second piece of this going to be? Way cheaper. Way, way cheaper. Beautiful. Guys, we have almost a connection up to the furs. Now, what we also have here is technically a bypass from Saguenay down to Ottawa, uh, Toronto and London. Okay, we are signalled up. We just need to set up Ottawa now with its actual station. I guess it'll be its northern station. We're also going to get rid of all of the track that was in there, which will give us some money back, which is lovely. There are no trains running this from the AI. We only inherited the network. Uh, so we would like just uh, which one's this going to be? I guess we have one sort of northern train and one heading through to the east. So we'll put that in and we'll bridge across there, which is going to be, again, pricey. But I'm going to pay... Oh, the grade's not that great, is it? Why not? Probably because of the way the bridge is. But, uh, ooh, I tell you what, the curve might work a little bit. If we lower that just a touch, and then we've got just a 2% grade, 251k. What's hilarious is, because this is such a big bridge, a uh, high bridge, I should say, not big, and this is a big bridge, but uh, because the height is quite low, this massive track costs us less than this tiny link-up. But I think worth the investment, because... Uh, any chance I can get to 
pay through the nose for better grades, I will. It's going to serve us better in the long run and keep our trains uh, close to maximum speed wherever we, wherever we can. Right, so you're going in there, 55k for the second section, which is, which is a bargain considering how much we paid for the initial track. There we go. I do like the discounts you get on doubling up on track. So that should prove amazing for uh, Railway Empire 2 and your four track bridges. Um, I, I kind of hope they add a premium past two tracks. Uh, not too much, but a little bit will be fine. We will need a... Yeah, we can't afford it yet. Waiting for a bit of cash so we can stick our maintenance yard on there immediately. And then we can wrap up maybe with a ride across uh, from the furs, which will be the last thing we set up today. Which uh, technically we don't need a big fancy station for it. But if we do put a big fancy station in there, we can effectively queue our trains on any platform and, and get a bunch running. Is it already getting cold? No, it's April. Uh, see what I mean about up north. Up this end, it's forever snow. Would probably be better sending some stuff into a warehouse up there. Just so we can shift it. We have one point to spend. We're going to get the Achilles, guys. Let's get that on. Let's get that on. We, well, we can't afford it yet, can we? We've got uh, more important things to do. I honestly thought... This guy was on the dead end track. You would have been sat there for an eternity. Yeah, express lines are going to be in danger. Goodness me, it's all go. Absolutely, we'll take anything you're going to throw at us on uh, freebies like that. There's our new train. It is pricey, guys. Not happening today, but we'll get him on. He's so adorable. I love you. I love you. You're adorable. Yeah, your consumption and maintenance requirements are a bit rough, but... Uh, you're speedy, so definitely going to have you as a passenger train and our mixed trains as well. Because he is the fastest. Right, we have a bit of money. Let's get us our standard station. And we do need a little bit of room. And that little bit of room will allow us to, probably on this side, allow us to scoot in to a maintenance yard and back out again so that uh, we can glide in there we might even make a bridge at some point but uh, for now i think this would just suit our needs and get us some trains running down there maybe put it over that side but there we go we've got a connection all the way to ottawa once this is in and we can afford it we can't afford the train yet but so we'll get them signaled up and then wait for a little bit of cash and then once our first train is in, we can jump on board, can't we? Right, we're not done with our bypass. I would like a track to run around the uh, the current station we've got here, which is going to be pricey. But it is what we're doing with this section up here. We also have the uh, ability to drop down on before the bridge there from from both Archer's Clearing and the warehouse into Ottawa. So that's the plan there. We're going to get our furs moving before we do that. I'm going to leave that in there as the next thing we do. We have some personnel. It's a conductor. We might use some of these stokers. And we definitely need to set up some passenger services. Uh, how much was that going to cost us? It's not bad, is it? It's only 58k. Right, do we have enough now? We do. Let's get us our first lot of fur into Ottawa. And then we're making more silk as well. And then we can concentrate on expanding our network further and finishing off our little bypass here. Freight only. And we do want to wait until fall, absolutely. Let's get you underway. And uh, as much as we could use this, let's stick with the Canadian for our freight. I love the power. And uh, the speed difference is all right, isn't it? Get you on there. Do I want power on you? Well, there we go. I would like you. We'll have a bit of maintenance, a bit of reliability. Perfect. And that's the train we'll be riding on. He is full of furs. 
since he is full of furs, we may as well add the second train on. Uh, yeah, he's going to wait to be full. All right, guys, we are heading towards Ottawa on our fur train, our first lot of furs into Ottawa. It's going to be eight of the total of 25 we need. I just realized <laughs> uh, I was a silly sausage, but it, it wasn't really avoidable. Remember, we got the mediator and we also then got a really low level auction for, uh, I believe, one of the, the research trees. So, yeah, we wasted him a bit. Never mind, he saved us a fraction of what we paid for him. It, it happens, that's the gamble you take when you have those in your back pocket. But I definitely like uh, research off the tree. And uh, uh, we've learnt more, haven't we? All in all, it was a gamble worth taking. I, we didn't really have the money to buy anything bigger. But yes, that happened. And uh, it only dawned on me as I jumped on. With a cab ride. But uh, we've got a network happening. The furs aren't going to be a problem. They should keep uh, being delivered. We'll upgrade it as we can afford it. Uh, we're a little way from winter. Now we've got to concentrate on... Well, first off, finishing off the little network around this area. Uh, just to bypass to Saguenay. And then... And then we've got to figure out who's going to be making... Who's going to be making our overcoats to go to wherever it was or is it just to produce them but we'll look into that next time out i'm looking forward to it this bridge is amazing in my judgment the crown will have an interest in their colonies gaining more political independence for this purpose canada has to become more independent from english imports in the first place well everything got thrown up there so a little bit of edit i'm gonna assume that's the the task for 15 million company value we'll get to see won't we when we come back so yes i've saved it so we'll see what it is at the start of the next video i'm intrigued now do you reckon it's the 15 million what task it's got to be surely it could be the freight as well well i'm excited now all right guys thank you for watching and until next time take care